Alison Finley has made her mark in Ontario's wine industry since she graduated from Niagara College. And now it's welcome back Findlay time. She's returning to her alma mater as winemaker at the Niagara College Teaching Winery. That I love the buzz of the campus. So it's not just a winery. It's, you know, a school. It's students in hospitality and horticulture. It's tons of people just all over the place. And it's really cool to see something outside of what I've just spent 10 years really focusing on. Allison, the head winemaker at Flat Rock Cellars in Jordan, honed her craft producing award-winning wines. Flat Rock Cellars, we're very focused on Pinot, Chard and Riesling uh, and really focused on premiumizing the wines. Um, so I'm really used to hand sorting beautiful French oak and just really bringing um, very high quality vineyard focused, terroir focused wines and I'm looking forward to participating in that in the college as well. I know that for years we've had this you know, reputation of, of students making the wine and, and somehow that's subpar to people's minds. But um, coming in as a commercial winemaker with my experience, I really want to make sure that people know that what we're doing here is making world-class wines alongside teaching the next generation. I remember when Allison was a student here and she's gone on to have such a great career and a distinguished career winning some great awards. She'll be able to talk about the terroir, having the exposure to different terroirs, the different climates, different techniques that uh, different cultures use and she'll be able to bring that and share that with the students. The students are only going to benefit from her being here. For Allison, returning to Niagara College as the head winemaker has been a homecoming of sorts. So I was doing um, undergraduate at Lakehead University in Thunder Bay and my best friend was doing her teacher's college at Brock University and our families were very close so we came to visit them and while we were visiting we went wine tasting and I was graduating from university, I didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life, and the person behind the tasting bar just said it's art and soil and science and sunshine and yada yada, and um, I kind of got interested. And then I went online, looked at the program, and it was organic chemistry and vine biology, and I'd taken these courses in my undergrad. And so I was like, oh, that's cool, plus sensory analysis of wine, old world wine. And so I applied, got in, and that was 10 years ago now, and I haven't really looked back. Allison credits the program with her start in the winemaking industry. I actually knew nothing about wine uh, when I started the program. So I remember my first tasting class, I sat down and I said, what do you smell? And I thought, white wine. <laughs> there is, there's nothing more to this than white wine in, in my opinion. So I really started from the very, very ground base level. Um, I was lucky to have the chemistry knowledge and the background um, plant sciences knowledge, but all of the sensory evaluation, all the winemaking, was taught to me at Niagara College. Originally from Dryden, Ontario, Allison is the first female winemaker at Niagara College's teaching winery. Everyone here has you know, been friends with me for years. I've worked with many people in this at the college. So I'm just looking forward to being a part of the team. And yeah, if, if, it, if it matters at all to future students, I'm, I'm really proud and I'm glad that I can provide a role model for them. But I'm also just happy to be in this position and I, I just love making wine. We kind of blow people's mind when they come in and taste the wines. Our, we have professional winemakers. Allison's a professional winemaker and the students are benefiting from learning from her. So we're really uh, making world-class wines. Really what makes the great wines is what's happening out in the vineyard and then ridiculous attention to detail in the cellar. So all those different wineries I worked at had different aspects of them that were difficult and different aspects of them that were really fun and easy and interesting. So I've taken all those trials, trials and tribulations and now I get to bring them to Niagara College. 